Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As many of you know, I love Apple stock and it's hovering at an all time high. The big question I have for you today is, is it time to take some of the profits off the table and sell some of my stock? Hey guys, so Apple stock has experienced significant growth over the past five years. Now, I didn't get in five years ago. Mine was more recent, so I've only seen my shares go up 55%, but that's still a huge win for me. However, if you bought it five years ago, your shares have more than quadrupled with a 330% increase. And that growth far exceeds the S&P 500's 94% gain during the same period. Current Apple shareholders may find their positions have become a large percentage of their portfolio because of the massive growth in Apple stock. The rapid increase may have led to an overweight position in Apple stock. And this situation is prompting investors to consider rebalancing to reduce the risk. And that's exactly what Warren Buffett just did. He just sold a ton of his Apple stock through uh, Berkshire Hathaway. So let's look at our options for selling Apple stock because valuation changes over time. Apple's price to earnings or PE ratio has doubled from 18 to 34 in five years. And that reflects a significant change in how the market values the company. The company's net cash position as a percentage of market capitalization has decreased. In 2019, Apple's net cash was $102 billion, representing 11% of its market cap. As of today, net cash is $52 billion, or less than only 2% of its market cap. So there's a big discrepancy between the valuation and the growth. A P.E. ratio in the 30s suggests to me a very high expectation for future growth. However, Apple's revenue growth is slowing. They're plateauing with only a 5% increase in the fiscal third quarter. Market is anticipating that AI integration is gonna be the game changer and it's gonna boost sales. But this may already be priced into the stock. Assuming that AI integration goes well and everything, then that just justifies where the stock is right now. It doesn't mean it's gonna go far, it's not gonna grow farther. There's no guarantee to expect that AI-driven growth will materialize. So, what should I do? Well, I'm considered, if I was, if I bought this stock five years ago, I might be considered trimming my overweight position. Selling some shares could help align Apple's position with more conservatively valued stocks. Apple's P.E. ratio over 40% higher than the S&P 500's P.E. ratio of 24. The risk reward profile for Apple stock is less compelling today than it was in the past. It's a big winner, but will it keep winning? So when it comes to your personal financial considerations, investors, evaluate your own financial, financial situation before making a decision. If you have an overweight position, taking some profits, redeploying cash into better opportunities might be a prudent move. Apple has been a stellar performer. Like I said, I'm a big time, uh, I, you know, I love this company. Absolutely love this company. But its current valuation and growth pros prospects suggest it may be time to reconsider the size of the position in a portfolio. Now, for me, my position has only grown 55%. And I'm happy with where it is today as part of my portfolio. So I will not be selling my Apple stock, any of it, today. But investors should weigh the potential risks and benefits before deciding to trim their Apple holdings. So guys, that's what I'm doing. I'm holding my Apple stock, but only because it isn't overweight for my portfolio. I'm curious to know what you think, guys, though, uh, what you guys think. So leave a comment down below. Let me know, are you holding your Apple stock? Are you selling? Are you buying more? Really interested to know what y'all are doing. Hey, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this. And subscribe because every week 
I'm buying a new stock and I'm making a video all about the stock that I am buying and putting it right here on this channel. Y'all take it easy, have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.